Hi everyone! Today we're going to be watching Tron, the original movie that came out in 1982. This is going to be my first time watching this movie and I'm really really excited to watch it because I've heard so many good things about it. I've always heard about this movie since growing up. I played through the Tron section in Kingdom Hearts and now I'm finally watching it. Thank you guys very much for joining. Hope you guys will enjoy it and I'll see you guys in the comments. And for everybody that's watching along on Patreon for the full reaction, we will start together on a three, two, one, go. Three, two, one, go. You're getting brutal, Sark. Thank you, Master Control. We kidnapped some military programs. I'd love to go up against one of those guys. What branch of the service? Strategic Air Command. I'm just a compound interest program. I can't play these video games. He's a program? Hey, look, you guys are gonna make my user, Mr. Henderson, very angry. Great. Another religious nut. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing here. I love the look of this so much. You believe in the users? If I don't have a user, then who wrote me? What's your name? Chrome. Ram. Ram? Nice. I hope you make it. So are these like games playing games or they're I guess they're just programs um come on, come on. the inside the computer world looks like uh we're gonna play laser tag or something I wrote you yes sir I taught you everything I know about the system and I'll try to cover you from this end go I love all the colors and lights with uh, on the like dark background it's great such a vibe. Do you think we can merge with this memory bit? Yes. But I don't see what we're looking for. Come on, you scuzzy data being there. Uh oh. We've got company. What happens if he loses? Is the best program he's ever written about to bite the proverbial bit dust? Is Clue going to be okay? Oh, I guess not. <laughs> oh, no. So is he like a hacker? Pirate program. Who's your user? Forget it, Mr. High and Mighty Master Control. I'll never talk. You are making me talk. <laughs> this is intense. Ooh, darker than I thought it was going to be. Get me Ooh. Well, now your program's gone. Even in the real world, the the lighting and and everything is very similar. Good evening, Mr. Dillinger. Thank you, Peter. You can go now. Yes, sir. Access to master control password master all caps no numbers or special characters the boy detective is nosing around again flint yes i put it in my memory which he hasn't located but he might find it i'm afraid so so flynn's looking for a file your access suspended report to dillinger Think I can have some of your popcorn? Yeah, sure. <laughs> can I have some of your popcorn? I've been smelling it all the way from the other cubicle. <laughs> Let me turn around so I look all mysterious, important. So I can turn back around and look all mysterious and important. <laughs> We've had to shut down all Group 7 personnel, just briefly, security. Uh, what's the project you're working on? Well, it's called Tron. It's a security program itself, actually. Sounds good. Well, we should have you running again in a couple of days, I hope. Okay. Thanks. Well, guess you're gonna take a two-day vacation, huh? Couple of days. Well, I thought Tron was like a game. But it's a security program.
matter transform sequence. Well, here goes nothing. Actually, what we propose to do is to change something into nothing and back again. They might just as well have said, here goes something, here comes nothing. Right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let her rip. This is what we've been waiting for. Wait. Beautiful. Disintegrating things down Not here. Disintegrating, Alan. Digitizing. Digitizing. Mm, great. Can it send me to Hawaii? Yeah. But you gotta purchase your program 30 days in advance. So are they turning matter into digital assets or are they sending shit to Hawaii? I don't understand. After all, computers are just machines. They can't think. Some programs will be thinking soon. Oh, some programs might already be computers thinking. Computers and the programs will start thinking and the people will stop. That is so true! <laughs> How did they know? You know, Flynn has been thinking about breaking into the system ever since Dillinger canned him. Oh, he he's an ex-employee. Flynn had access oh, makes sense. to you too. What, what kind of access to her? We're just gonna leave it like that? I don't know what you ever saw in that guy anyway. I left him for his brain. <laughs> Boy, I haven't been here in a long time. Home of Space Paranoids. So there is a game. Where is he? I don't know. Somewhere in here. He was the boss, but an idiot. This is how you get chicks. You get a score of 300,000. Back in 1982, look at this guy. Peak male specimen. Use the force, Luke! Use the force, Luke. Nice shot, kid! That was one in a million! Woohoo! That was one in a million. That reminds me of the Star Wars game that I used to play. <laughs> <laughs> hey, good to see you guys. Come on, take yourselves at home. Be right up. The best programmer Incom ever saw, and he winds up playing Space Cowboy in some back room. Yeah, and he's getting all the chicks. Have you been sneaking into the Incom system? She still leave her clothes all over the floor? Lynn. No. Alan! She still likes him. I have been doing a little hacking here, as a matter of fact. No, actually, I'm trying to get some solid evidence together. Kevin Flynn sets up his own private memory file and begins writing a program for a video game that's invented called Space Paranoids. You invented Space Paranoids? I was this close to starting my own little enterprise, man. All right, now we take you three months later. Dillinger presents and come with fine video games. <gasps> he stole his games? I still don't understand why you want to break into the system. Because they stole his shit. Somewhere in one of these memories is the evidence. Dylan just cut off everybody with Group 7 access. The password is master. Well, now there is nothing to stop him. Not if my Tron program was running. Well, shall we dance? I like it. Let's take out the big guys. The thieves. Walter, I sympathize, but I have data coming from the master control program telling me there's something screwy going on around here. That MCP, that's half our problem right there. Encom isn't the business you started in your garage anymore. Sometimes I wish I were back in that garage. So he's the... He started all this? But now Dillinger's taken over. But we helped create it. And our spirit remains in every program we designed for this computer. Don't worry about Encom anymore. It's out of your hands now. We gotta recruit this guy. One of the designers. I make these myself. You want one? They never should have gotten rid of me. <laughs> this guy is very smiley. I like how smiley he is. It's my fault. I programmed you to want too much. I was planning to hit the Pentagon next week. I was just planning on hitting the Pentagon next week. No big deal. Now, wait a minute. I wrote you. I've gotten 2,415 times smarter since then. 
So this Dillinger guy is no chump. He wrote the master control program, so it's not like he's totally talentless. I'm gonna put him at my terminal. I'm gonna meet you in your office upstairs. <clears throat> Flynn. After you. <laughs> so I know this is like the early 80s, but my dad worked at Sun Microsystems in the 90s early 90s and probably before that too and I took a tour of his work one day for like take your kid to work day kind of reminds me of this place here in some places okay remember this laser's my life's work don't spill anything you shouldn't have come back for him. hey 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 it's the big master control program everybody's been talking about remember the time we used to spend playing chess together that's a little creepy Stop. Please. Stop. That tickles. I'd like to go against you and see what you're made of. I'm gonna have to put you on Target the locked break. on. Activate. Hey, you want games? I'll give you games. Are we going to Hawaii? Oh, that's cool. It's like a... What are they called? What are those printers called again? But in reverse. 3D printer. That's what I was looking for. This is so 80s and I love it. Oh man, this isn't happening. It only thinks it's happening. I said move. Yeah. Look, if this is about those parking tickets, I can explain everything, okay? <laughs> I've got a little challenge for you, Sark. A new recruit. It's not any kind of program, Sark. He's a user. A user? What's the matter, Sark? You look nervous. I don't know. User, I mean... Kind of like fighting an actual users god. Users wrote <laughs> us. Yeah. What if I can't... Want me to slow down your power cycles for you? Wait! I need that! In here, program. Hey, will you call him program? Program! <laughs> Oh, this is fun. Really think the users are still there? They better be. I don't want to bust out of here and find nothing but a lot of cold circuits waiting for me. They want to bust out? Where am I? You're a guest of the Master Control program. They're going to make you play video games. Okay, no sweat. I play video games better than anything. Yeah, he's got the high score. All the chicks dig him. Move out! This way. Is he gonna play one of the games that he wrote? Space Paranoids? Maybe? Yeah, there's been a mistake. I gotta see the guy in charge. You will. So the Sark guy knows about the users, but I think all of these guys, if somebody believes in the users, they're like some kind of crazy religious fanatic, which is interesting. The master control program has chosen you. Continue to profess a belief in the users, which will result in your eventual elimination. What happened to freedom of religion? An identity disc. <laughs> Subject to immediate de-resolution. I don't like these rules. They seem a bit excessive. Who's that guy? That's Tron. He fights for the users. You gotta be good if you want to survive. What's your name? My name's Ram. Uh, I don't remember too much. Name's Flynn. Sure, a little disorientation. That's normal in transport. It'll come back to you. Let him fight one of his own kind. One of his own kind? What is with the claws? <laughs> it's kind of hey. like Kong. Hey, I, well, I, I... kind of? The new guy was asking about you. I'll probably never meet him. There's something different about him. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Finish the game! No! Oh! <laughs> no! So when their rings get hit, they disappear. Oh no!
This is such a cool concept, that game. He won! Alan. Where did you hear that name? I'm remembering all kinds of stuff. Like my user wants me to go after the MCP. My user wants that too. I know. Okay, so he found Alan. Sort of. Tron program. Oh, yeah. oh that's... <laughs> I did something like this in Kingdom Hearts, right? Ooh. So we're orange, right? Oh my god. Hell no. Hell no. Out of here right now when you guys are invited. Got it. This is an illegal exit. You must return to Gainbridge. Repeat. We've gone rogue. Get them. Get them! <laughs> How's he supposed to get him when you knock him out? So Flynn even wrote the tank programs? Trying to be destroyed by his own creation. I can't believe the amount of CGI in this movie for its time. On the other side of the screen, it all looks so easy. What do you mean by that? Hmm? Whoa. Gone right past us. This place looks pretty. We're having back in no time, sir. Be better now, unit. I'll be lucky if the MCP doesn't blast me into a dead zone. I want those conscripts! This reminds me a lot of just a lot of the vibes are very Star Wars vibes too, like this guy being like somebody from the Empire. I want those droids! <laughs> Find them now! <laughs> when do we pay our visit to the old uh, Master Control, huh? What? <laughs> There's just three of us. We can't get to the MCP without the help of my user. I have to get to that input-output tower and communicate with him. What's that? That is just what I need right now. <laughs> Ram is a funny guy. I like him. <laughs> Boy, you forget how good the power feels. <laughs> Are the... Friend, They're getting high. <laughs> we have scored. I feel so much better. Okay, so they're getting energized. I can feel it. Alan won. Let's move out. Come on, Flynn. Put a cork in. One second. <laughs> Don't fall in. <sighs> I know I say this like with practically every movie that I watch for this, but um, I can't believe I've never seen this before. <laughs> this seems like something that I would have watched as a as a kid. Something that my dad would have showed me. Ram, Flynn, do you read me? Pursuit force reporting to escape units. Derez. No. Wait. No, they're not. Tron unit heading into next sector. Oh yeah, see they're fine. Ram. Uh oh. Come on, we gotta get out. Don't of kill here. off Ram. I can't hold it in anymore, but like there, dead ass, like Ram's packing some, <laughs> like them cheeks. Shouldn't be able to do that. What did he do? He's got the magic touch. Now for some real user power. Please don't turn into a mech. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> it's one of those things. This is 
is just like the old arcade grips. Hey, you okay? You don't look so good. Don't die, Ram. Are you a user? <laughs> Flynn? Help Tron? Ram. Oh, Ram. Ram was such a bro. He got to meet his maker. Ram. Rest in peace to the best bro. Her cheeky little bro. Got to meet an actual god. Program love? Hey! It's bit. Hold it right there. Yeah. And all you can say? No. Positive and negative, huh? You're a bit. I'm your program. Another mouth to feed. That bit's program was the program that you wrote. What in the world? Inoperative data. What are all these weirdos? Jesus. Where'd this guy learn how to fly? There goes his arms. Oh, no, I forgot. He's he's a user. Let's put it right back together. Maybe he doesn't handle so good in town. No. Does this thing just speak in binary? Like just yes and no? Ones and zeros? Is that what's... Going oh wow. I'll have to ask you to <laughs> uh, I'm fine. No problem. Hello. <laughs> this is where Tron said he was going. Boom. Ah, he's an identity thief. Just moited that guy. <laughs> what an adventure this is. Look at this. Looks so cool. They don't see us. I'll go first. Me. Are you all right? Yeah. Let's do that some more. <laughs> <laughs> Looks fun. What is this? It's like a sphinx. Paul, I've come to communicate with my user. Difficult proposition. Why, I could be Derez just for letting you in here. Dumont, my user has information that could, well, could make this free system again. <laughs> no, really. And you've been in the system as long as I have. You hear many promises. Time it's real. Please, Dumont. The guards are coming. All right. <laughs> you may pass, my friend. The Tower Guardian is helping him. Bring in the logic probe. The logic probe? Does he have pointy ears? More power! This code disc means freedom. Freedom! Change the digital world. Thank you, Dumont. Hurry, the users are waiting. Is Dumont gonna be okay? What? <laughs> Here's Flynn. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Where's the program? What program? Take him. No! The guy who's Dumont, is he the... The guy who, the old, older guy that was in the real world, one of the guys who wrote the uh, pro programs. So like, this is like the one or one of the programs that he wrote. Whee! 
<laughs> Looks like we got a long ways to travel. Hey, it's me, Flynn! Flynn! Yeah, I, uh... Need some help? help. <laughs> Where's Ram? Oh, Ram. Make it. Well, Ram knew that it was was going to be dangerous. Laura. Oh, the chick from real life. It's time I level with you. I'm what you guys call a user. And everything you've done has been according to a plan, right? <laughs> you wish. It's <sighs> I have difficulty like seeing their features like and differentiating between them because they all have the helmets, their faces are all gray and it's like kind of hard to tell who's who and I hadn't I didn't even realize that that girl was the same actress as the the girl from the beginning of the movie. So is that the program that she wrote? This isn't going to be easy. If those grid bugs get us, we've had it. Look at those guys. They look so jolly. Had enough? What do you want? I'm busy. Leave him alone. Yes, I'm old. Old enough to remember the MCP when it was just a chess program. Oh. What's happening? Power surge from the MCP. There's another beam! It's too far. Whoa. It's creating a junction. Her button presses were in time with the music. Are we there yet, Mommy? Mommy? Ooh. Dumont! Glory. Tron's dead. No, he's not! There's no way. He just got separated. You were Durez and I saw you. Not me, Sark. We're just an ordinary program. So are you. Take that program to the holding pit! Please, don't take me! Huh? Ooh. When I disembark, this ship and everything that remains on board will automatically de-res. This means you. <laughs> Thanks for the clarification. <laughs> Lynn reminds me of like Han Solo. He has that kind of attitude. That kind of like snarky, smug, with the crooked smile. I want to get rid of this dead weight and catch a transport beam to the game domain. See? There's Tron. He's okay. Yuri. Something's happening. Leave me alone. We failed. We're only gonna fail if we give up. Now, come on, look. We're not dead till we're dead. Even though the computer graphics are very simple, the animations, the textures are very kind of flat. The way that they, it just, it still looks so like it could look so bad, but it looks so good. The way that they use the lighting, the camera angles, the the shadows. I feel a presence. Another warrior is on the mesa. That face is something else though, isn't it? <laughs> like this. This looks so cool. It doesn't matter. Prepare to terminate. Get him, Tron! All programs have a desire to be useful. You will each be part of me, and together, we will be complete. No! You're very persistent, Tron! I'm also better than you! Damn! Ah, <laughs> uh, my frisbee's stronger than yours is. Whoa! All my functions are now yours. Take them. Getting 
bigger. Oh. Your user can't help you now, my little program. This is huge. Oh, gonna jump. it's also like the perspective and the geometry looks good. Damn. He gonna steal Tron's girl and he's gonna steal Alan's girl. Whee! Nice. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> Did we win? Come on, let's go. Whoa. Yay. Look at this. This is so cool. We did it. Uh, where's Flynn? <laughs> hey, she can't. How many guys you got to kiss in the last five minutes? Where's Flynn? It was incredible. He threw himself into the beam and distracted the MCP just long enough for you to get the disc in. What a floppy drive floozy. Every tower is lighting up. He's back. Oh, he didn't even get to say goodbye. Space paranoids. Original program written by Kay Flynn. <laughs> so they just went in there to get proof that he wrote it. And they just ended up destroying the master program. Well, Dillinger is not going to be happy. Ha! Ha ha! Sucks to suck. Right on the fish. Here comes the boss. The boss? Reading program. <laughs> <laughs> what an amazing view. Hey, the real world can look really cool too, you know. We got flashy lights and geometry too. nice oh and that's it wow so he got a big promotion mr flynn did but poor ram that was cool who was the guy who played flynn he felt kind of familiar to me but i probably don't know who he is that was jeff bridget wait what no wonder that <laughs> what <laughs> Flynn is Jeff Bridges <laughs> I thought he seemed so familiar but I couldn't place him at all <laughs> yeah I've seen um the the big Lebowski I think that's the only thing I've really seen him in but I had no idea he was he was in this. That's really cool. Hey, Editing Bunny here. I just wanted to point out that the reason I just realized the reason that Jeff Bridges seemed so familiar to me and I couldn't put my finger on it. I grew up with his voice. He did the voice of Prince Lear in The Last Unicorn, a movie that is one of my favorite movies of all time. And yeah, any other Last Unicorn fans out there? Let me know. And then she looked at me. And I was sorry I had killed the thing. Sorry for killing a dragon. Imagine. You know. Words are always getting in my way. Anyway, I love you. I'm so happy that I finally watched Tron. It feels like something has been checked off of my movie bucket list. And it's all thanks to everybody that voted for it on my Patreon. So thank you guys very much for using your one vote a month to go towards that movie. 
It was a lot of fun. Surprisingly, I think the visuals were one of the my most favorite parts of that movie. I know that back in 1982, computer generated graphics were very new and if you look at them from the lens of what we see in the 2020s, they're pretty primitive, but I loved the aesthetic. I loved the vibe. I loved the visuals, the dark backdrop with the bright lights, the geometric lines everywhere. Even though there wasn't a lot of texture, there was like really obvious green screen effects happening. But I think that kind of worked because, and I wasn't even sure, maybe they kind of made it look a little glitchy on purpose because they were not supposed to be like real human beings in a real world. They were digital beings in a digital world. And so kind of some of the glitchy jitteriness of the, the characters, I feel like that makes sense in this setting. And I really just loved the premise going into a computer program and playing games and fighting against these digital enemies, programs carrying out their functions, as well as having like these rumors or myths or a belief about users like gods and and of course the rulers of this universe, the master program and Sark who was like a minion of his didn't want the programs to believe in the users because they wanted to be like the gods, the powerful beings and so they tried to make the people who did believe the, uh, that the users existed to be some sort of like religious fanatic and that was a really interesting twist I thought my only complaint about the visuals was that it was really hard to differentiate between the people um, when they were programs because they were all wearing helmets, you couldn't see their hair, they were all kind of grayscale, and it was just really hard to kind of tell who was who a lot of the time. And of course, Jeff Bridges was really great in that. I thought. He seemed familiar. I didn't realize it was Jeff Bridges. I've only seen him in The Big Lebowski, but apparently uh, seeing that movie once was enough to leave a big enough impression on me that I felt familiar with this character Flynn and uh, that was really cool when I found that out. I was so happy I watched this. This was a lot of fun. And I really thought the car battle game, like that whole scene was really cool. The speed and the agility of those cars was really fun to see, especially when they did like the first person view and taking those turns, like really, really sharp turns really quick. The 90 degree turns, I guess. I won't say that it had the most complex or meaningful plot or anything like that, but it was a lot of fun and I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. I can't wait to see what everybody on Patreon are going to vote for for me to watch next. And whatever it is, I know it's going to be a good one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you will join me for another movie or another reaction down the line and I'll see you guys then. Make sure to leave your comment. Let me know what you thought. I appreciate it a lot and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.